BigQuery in GCP. Um, I'm going to talk about some basic usage of it. So it's very useful for um, SQL queries on some tables you have or do some basic analysis of table or data. So first, um, the data set that you have. So this is the project name I have, uh, my project ID, and then on uh, below it, there are some data set, and below the data set, there are some tables. So I have created a test table. I have one field name called ID. So if I use the editor um, here, say select star from um, test dot t1, and I run it, it will show you what it is what it is in this table. Is one row, row one, and ID is A. Okay, it's very um, easy to use. And also, another thing is you can import some other project data set in here. For example, you can say add data, you can pin a project. So you can uh, edit your project name, or you can select, for example, I have another project here, and I pin it here. So this project's data set is automatically shown in your project and you can query it. So I'm going to put um, the project name here in the front to show that this is my project and the db1, db1.t1. If I query it, you can see it has one row ID is ABCD. Okay, and also you can, if you don't use it, you can just unpin it from so select it and unpin project. Yeah, it's gone. If you want to add some uh, public data sets, you can, for example, click that and uh, it will show you all the data sets you can um, try on. For example, this FEC campaign finance. So let's select this one, then view data set. So I will automatically get imported to GCP. Okay, see, you can see it here. Uh, this BigQuery public data set actually it imports everything. Okay, so for example, if you want to see this table, I can do select star from BigQuery public data dot Austin dash 311, I mean underscore and dot 311 underscore request. So you can see that this is error because it has a dash, which is a special character here. So you need to use a um, quote to quote this name to make it work. Okay, so that way it can find which project or which data set is um, pointing to. So if I run it, it will actually pull all the data. You see, it's very slow because it's a big data set. Well, to make sure that I can see some data, I'll just say limit 10 and run it. Okay, now you can see it returned 10 rows of data here. Okay, so 10 rows, 9, 10. Okay, and you can see this query will process how much data. And also, if you want to explore data, you can use Data Studio. If you click on it, it will go to the Data Studio UI, and you can use different chart to view your data. For example, now it's showing the table as a list and then if I use this chart okay you can see your data and if you go with this I'm not sure because it doesn't show it doesn't have a real like integer or anything but if I use donut yeah so I can see okay different colors for different um, names data okay so that's very useful and if I don't want to use this, I can just unpin project. It will be gone. Okay, another thing you can use is to use the Active Cloud Shell. Okay, 
This one you can use command line if you not familiar or not comfortable with the UI. You can just use Cloud Shell to query your data. Um, so the basic uh, command line word is BQ. So if you want to query, say BQ query um, select uh, star from um, my my table test dot t1 okay test dot t1 quote okay so you have to put a single quote in the query so I will know that the query part so now it's doing the query so see it will return the table okay nice um, yeah hopefully this helps a little bit Mm, next time we'll talk about more about GCP.